Even when you number among the new generation of elite young scientists, meeting a real live Nobel Prize winner is an exciting experience. I speak, spoke to Professor Nayori, and he's an absolute superstar for me. And I'm still shaking. <laughs> no, I'm not a movie star yet. <laughs> Another photo opportunity. This time, an official one for some 60 Nobel Prize winners in the fields of chemistry, physics, and medicine. They've come together in the town of Lindau on Lake Constance. This is the 60th annual Lindau Nobel Laureate meetings. How exactly was the universe formed? Can cell biology help fight disease? These are among the topics discussed during almost a week of lectures and seminars among the Nobel Prize winners. And, of course, the young researchers who've come here from almost 70 countries. They're all the best in their field. Like 22-year-old Omar from Oman. He's studying medicine and he's particularly interested in AIDS research. His role model is Nobel Prize winner French virologist Françoise Barré-Sénoussi, who identified the human immunodeficiency virus. Well, it was a very interesting uh, lecture. Although she didn't talk about, uh, about the vaccine thing, but she have a discussion today at uh, 4 o'clock, so I'll, I'll go and ask her. Countess Bettina Bernadotte's father initiated the Nobel laureate meetings in 1951. Educate, inspire, connect is the motto of this year's event. As far as educate is concerned, the goal is to get them closely involved in science and research. They should be inspired by what's being discussed here. They should exchange ideas and connect, make friends, and then keep on exchanging ideas when they get back home. I think it's really exciting that there's two women laureates who presented this morning and that they've shown that they can be really successful in their field. Omar and his fellow researchers are about to meet Françoise barré senoussi It's a moment Omar will never forget. A one-on-one -on -one chat with the Nobel Prize winner. She gives him some career advice, and he listens intently. In their scientific career, they will have a lot of obstacles but they should never stop. They should never stop and should remember that what they are doing is not only for themselves, it's for the others. The evening's gala dinner is complete with dancing. Everyone joins in the traditional Polonaise. The up-and-coming researchers rub shoulders with the Nobel Prize winners, and a good time is had by all. And if they haven't started already, by tomorrow, they'll be talking science again.